to the video, we're going to work on five poses that strengthen our spine. So to get started, we'll come onto our stomach. Planting the hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to begin with our low cobra. So making sure the elbows are in towards the body. Planting the hands underneath the shoulders, spreading the fingers. I'd like you to press the hands into the ground as you inhale, engaging through your back. And then lifting up with your chest. So see if you can keep the arms into the side. Maybe not pressing too much weight into the hands as you really lift through the chest. Engaging through the back muscles. Lifting the chest higher. And then lowering down. So we'll do that three more times. As you inhale, lifting through the chest. Keeping the elbows by the side as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhaling, releasing down. One more time as you inhale, lifting through the chest. Keeping the elbows into the side, only keeping a little bit of weight into the hands. As you make sure the shoulders are away from the ears, engaging through the back muscles. And then exhaling, lowering down. So we'll place our head on the side just to release through the back. Maybe shaking out the legs. Next, we're going to do our snake. So interlacing the hands behind the back. Having the legs, they can be a few inches apart or together. You're going to press your pubic bone into the mat. As you inhale, clasping the hands together, exhaling, lifting through the chest. So really pressing the pubic bone into the mat. As you lift the arms away from your body, as you lift through your chest. Exhaling, releasing down. We'll do that two more times. Inhaling, lengthening at the bottom. Using your exhale. Lifting through your chest. Lifting the arms away. You lift higher with the chest. Pressing the pubic bone into the ground. And then releasing down. We'll do this one more time. Inhaling at the bottom. Exhaling as you lift your chest. Lifting the arms away from the body. Really interlacing those hands, lifting the chest higher. And then exhaling, releasing down. Unclasping the hands. You can rest your forehead onto the hands. Maybe shaking out through the legs. Our next pose is our half lotus. So placing the hands, palms facing down underneath the body. We're going to bend through one leg to use it as our support. And then lifting our other leg up. So if you want to find the support, you can use your foot to place it on that leg. So grounding down the chin into the ground. Engaging through your back muscles, lifting this leg higher. And then bringing it down. Resting the head to one side. Maybe shaking out through the legs. And then we'll repeat this on the other side. So planting the chin into the ground as you walk the hands a little bit under your body. Lifting up this leg. 
as you engage through the leg. Sending the chin forward, pressing the hands down into the ground. Maybe using this bent foot to place it onto the leg for support or actively holding this leg up. And then slowly lowering down. Allowing the head to fall to the other side. Maybe shaking out through the legs. We're going to take our super, superwoman. So to prepare for superwoman, we're actually going to take an airplane just to activate the arms and legs together once. So to feel all of the extremities off of the ground. So we're going to inhale and then exhale, lifting the arms and legs. So taking all of the extremities off of the ground. If you lift higher, Sending the pubic bone into the ground, lifting through the arms, lifting through the legs. Can you engage the kneecaps? And then exhale, releasing down. So you can do that a few times. Great for the extension through the back. We'll do it one more time together. Using your exhale to lift up. Lifting the arms and legs off the ground. Can you lift a little bit higher? Can you engage more? And then exhale and releasing down. As you bend in the left foot. So making sure your body is a little bit warm before you start these poses. These strengthening poses. We're going to do our superwoman. So taking the left leg into the body. Grabbing it with your left hand, and then extending out the right hand, your right arm. We're going to kick the foot into the hand as you lift through your opposite arm. So kicking your foot into the hand, feeling that opposition. As you feel this extension for your arm, lifting higher. Taking one more breath, lifting a little bit higher. And then exhale, releasing down. Allowing that leg to release to the ground as you switch sides. So drawing in the right foot towards the bottom. Maybe stretching out through this quadricep a little bit. And then extending through the left hand. So kicking the right foot into the right hand. As you extend through the left arm, kick, lifting all of the extremities off of the ground. Taking that foot harder into the hand, lifting a little bit higher, and then exhale, releasing down. So sitting back, finding a little child's pose here to release through the back. And then making our way onto our back. So just rolling down and finding your way all the way to the ground. We're going to do a few rounds of bridging. So bringing the heels into the bottom, making sure the knees are up facing the ceiling. And then using your hands, so supporting with your hands, palms facing down. As we inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhaling, tucking the pubic bone under as you roll up through the spine. So finding this pubic bone tucked under, having the hips be the highest point. And then exhaling, rolling down. We're going to do that three times. So inhaling, exhaling, tucking under the pubic bone as you roll through the spine. Exhaling, rolling down. As you inhale at the bottom. Exhaling, tucking under, rolling up through the spine, really using each vertebra. As you press through the feet, we're staying at the top this time. So can you bring the shoulder blades under you? Can you draw them closer? Maybe then interlacing the hands. 
Really pressing through the feet here. Engaging through the back of the legs. Trying to stay as active as you can. And then slowly releasing down. So moving the hands away as you roll through your spine. As you untuck the pubic bone, drawing in the knees. And then just giving yourself a little releasing. So rolling from side to side or rocking up and down. Making sure you're always mindful of your spine. Making sure you warm it up and you cool it off. Using this to go in to a preparation for a wheel or just releasing down, taking a moment of stillness with your body, taking a nice deep breath in through your nose, exhaling, releasing it all out. Thank you. And that was your five yoga poses to strengthen your spine with a little additional bonus one. So please be mindful of the spine and take care.